It's the time again for Beckett from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the new game system from our friends from China. This is more, let's say, similar with the Pandora jungle. So I can say we, it's, we're going to enter the Pandora jungle today. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, and we're going to do this unboxing together. But what are we going to get inside the box? So let's take a close look at it. The packaging itself is very nice. And yeah, we're going to get the PlayStation knockoff controllers. Uh, this is basically the same controller we're always going to get before we're going to do testing. Ah, oh, doesn't smell chemical. All right, so I must say this thing feels not bad. I have seen some shitty places to knockoffs. Oh, sorry, but did I just say wicked? The D-pad. We're going to test it out. Very curious how this is going to play and how it's going to work. Of course, we're going to get two controllers, an HDMI cable. And here we having the system itself and the one on the I think that is one of the first I have seen when it comes more like a TV box style version. But let's take a close look at it later. Let's see what we're having here. I'm guessing this is the power supply and the power supply is just our basic 12 volt. But what I think is always very strange. Some of these sellers giving you this lithium ion battery charger. Why are they just not giving us a regular 12 volt? That is really strange. But yeah, I've seen it before and it seems to be working. But okay, let's take a close look at the device itself. So the first thing I did notice that has more like the form factor of a TV box, but it is nothing like the, let's say, the casual TV box you can buy from a couple of dollars on AliExpress. I did see some premium versions like the GT King, but this thing is more like a cheap, very cheap, feel plastic, fantastic thing. Very strange. Hmm, don't like it. At the back we're having the RG45 Ethernet connector. I have no idea why, maybe we're having the Naughty Store. That's something we need to find out. We're having a spiff out, AV out, we're having HDMI out and the input for the 12 volt and an on off switch. And I can tell you this on and off switch is unique. I have many of these, let's say China game systems that don't have an on and off switch. Yeah, in 2020, who, who came up with that? At the side we're having two USB connections. Basically what you can do, you can use Two dongles and we can hook up four controllers if you want to and the games of course supports it here we're having the tf slot for the sd card that contains all the files but okay so that makes me very curious what are we going to get with the device there are no screws so we're just clicking together and as you can see over here we're also having a wifi dongle or a wifi ethernet built inside that is quite interesting but we're having three screws that i'm going to remove because I just wanted to see inside what kind of hardware that we're going to get. After removing everything I came across this problem that I can't remove the cooling element because I wanted to see for you guys what are we going to get beneath the cooling element over here. But I'm guessing this is more than basic quad core that you're going to get and here we're having the RAM modules. Over here we are going to have the storage that will have the firmware so basically what you're going to get is the similar specifications or the similar stuff that we're going to get with the main board of a Pandora's box, only in a different form factor. All right, so let's put it back together. Let's put in the thumb drive and USB number one. I'm going to grab my controller, where I've spoken of the quality. I'm going to use batteries inside because yeah, that is what these China cheap things, there are no lithium batteries inside. Let's power it on. As you can see, it's charging for a signal. Let's grab ourselves an HDMI cable and let's grab ourselves a monitor and let's play. All right, so this is the Pandora Forest. We're having a new Pandora in the Pandora jungle. So as you can see, it runs indeed on Android. It's optimizing the apps. All right, so when powered up, this is what we're going to get, the Pandora Forest. And it is very similar to the Pandora Key 7. And for the people who are not familiar with the Key 7, it was more like the second model they released after the Pandora Box 5 and 6. It was more like a model between from a different company and there are quite some interesting things. So the Pandora Forest is very similar with the Pandora Key 7. So having a three dimensional list, two dimensional list, latest and search. And search, that is new. That was something we didn't have with the Pandora Key 7. 
Okay, so when you're pressing start, you go back to the main menu over there, and now we can go to the search function. So let's search for Mortal Kombat, and let's see how good this thing works. And it seems to be that it is working. So well, what are we going to get with the two-dimensional and three-dimensional list? So with the three-dimensional list, we're going to get PSP, Sega Dreamcast, N64, PlayStation 1. And it's not a big list, but you can add games if you want to. So with the two-dimensional list, it's more like a mixed bag. We're going to see here the retro arc, but I can already tell you, these are 16-bit games and not the original Mortal Kombat files, like the real arcade. So as you can see, and we're going to scroll through the list, you can see they're more like the main and Neo Geo, of course. There are some lost 8 and 16-bit stuff here, but you need to search them through this big pile of games. Okay, so let's try some three-dimensional stuff, and let's see what we're going to get. Round 1. Ring on the screen as you can see over here, so that is not good. Oh. Even if I don't know the sex specifications at this moment making this video, I can already tell you, it's not good. If this PlayStation 1 doesn't run perfectly, now nah, I can already tell you, the specifications are pretty damn low. Alright, so next up, let's play a little bit of Dreamcast, and let's see how this is running. Don't have high hopes, but maybe we can play it. I wanted to try and game a two-dimensional MAME shmup and the reason why because these things are made for vertical screen so with normal let's say game system we're going to get two black bars but with this it looks horrible stretched so this is something that is just a common problem with these games that they are not let's say putting it in the right express ratio so yeah the express ratio they didn't fix it with the Pandora forest and when you're playing a main game, the games are running just fine with the two-dimensional stuff. That's most of them. That's, let's put it this way, it's not really big of an issue with these Pandora's box nowadays. But it's time to go predator mode. You got Super Magazine! Get the power of a predator! The power of a predator! Okay, so I just want to do a quick look at the settings menu. Now, as you can see, we can do some modification with the USB gun pad position. And with the EO tester, this is more like when you want to check out if your controls are not working or there is something wrong. Sadly, with game settings, as you can see over here, we're only having the RAW and HD, so there is no express ratio. So yeah, what do I think of the Pandora Forest, the game console from our friends from China? So to begin with, what I did notice with the device, it's passive cooled, no active cooling, and man, this thing is getting really hot. The controls are pretty decent. I can get the moves out most of the time with this, with this horrible D-pad. It's just the same old school knockoff PlayStation 2 controllers that you really don't want to play with. But it's not super bad, so you can play some two-dimensional games, for example. But yeah, this thing is capable of running quite some different systems, but you can see that not everything is running perfectly like PSP. And I did notice some issues with PlayStation 1, and I know for a fact that I'm going to do some more testing. We're going to have some more problems with DC or Dreamcast. So this is what you're going to get. Let me know in the comments what you think. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing and hit the little bell, and I will see you in the next video.